Ever since Animal Crossing New Horizons exploded onto the gaming scene in 2020, I found myself on an endless quest to find games like Animal Crossing for PC. But the pickings are rather slim if you want a life sim with cute 3D graphics. Dinkum is probably my closest recommendation, but now there's a new game similar to Animal Crossing that has just released onto Steam. It's called Chilltown. I backed it on Kickstarter, have been playing it since the alpha version, and will give you my honest, unsponsored review of this early access release. So what is Chilltown? Chilltown is a life simulation game with town building, farming, bug catching, fishing, exploring procedurally generated islands, home decorating, crafting, villagers to meet, pets to pet, and quests to quest. Everything you'd expect, but there are a few twists. As the name implies, Chilltown is a place with simple experiences, cozy aesthetics, and soothing music that's designed to create an incredibly relaxing experience for players. The lo-fi music plays a big part in this. You can access the music playlist from your phone and choose from a variety of relaxing beats depending on your mood. Second, Chilltown is part idle game meaning it's designed so you can leave it playing on your computer kind of like a screensaver. The game will progress, but you won't experience negative effects from playing idle. You can even turn on auto fishing while you are AFK. Another unique aspect of Chilltown is the addition of pals. You can find pals wandering around the island, capture and tame them, and eventually breed them and even try to create hybrid pals. And no, you can't make them be your slaves. This isn't Pal World. Let's take a closer look at some of the other game features. The fishing and bug catching mechanics are very similar to Animal Crossing. As you capture more creatures, and there are 125 fish species by the way, these are recorded in your compendium and can also be placed into aquariums and terrariums in your house, and I believe eventually can be donated to the museum, but I have yet to unlock this. And when you're in the mood for a bit of exploration, you can hop on a seaplane to procedurally generated islands and search for treasure, new plants and crops, and meet new characters that you can invite to your island. There is also a bit of farming in Chilltown, but it's more like gardening, and you don't even have to water your crops, though they will grow more quickly if you do. Oh, and by the way, you don't have to eat or sleep either, but you can still rest to advance the day or cook food, which can fetch a pretty penny at the market or can be used as bait to catch pals. And of course, you get to pick your house design, which has upgradable size and floor levels, and you can save up money to buy or craft furniture and decor for the interior or for your landscaping. The more you decorate and improve your village, the higher your town rank. Because yes, there is an island evaluation program. And you can even share your island on the server for others to visit, though you can't interact with them in co-op gameplay yet. Chilltown will cost you about $15, is currently only available on Steam, it does work on Steam Deck, and there is no official decision on porting to console at this point. After over 15 hours of gameplay, here is what I like most about Chilltown. It is such a calming experience. From the colorful graphics, which have brightness and saturation adjustments, to the chill lo-fi music and idle features, I can feel my stress melt away. There is no combat or health to worry about, just chill vibes. I thoroughly enjoy the simple quests and working to progress my town and upgrade my house, as well as completing my creature and flower collections. The addition of so many pets to unlock in Cora's pet shop and pals to catch and tame is such an exciting treat, and I can't wait to create new pal varieties. Chilltown is like Animal Crossing, but for your PC, with the bonus of acting like a living desktop wallpaper if desired. I do have a few items on my wish list that I hope might become options in future Chilltown iterations. Running is probably number one on my list. I'm impatient. I realize this game is about relishing the experience and absorbing the positive vibes of the island, but when I see a wild pal trying to escape, I sorely miss having a sprint option. 
Second, and I'm guessing this feature is planned, but I would love the ability to remap keys and controller buttons. Third, although I like being able to change the weather ambiance within my house, the sound effects that accompany this are a bit overwhelming and tend to linger even after exiting my home. So being able to toggle and control this audio separately would improve the player's experience, in my opinion. And finally, Chilltown is an early access game, which means there are a handful of bugs you'll likely encounter, such as quests not completing and items disappearing or purchased goods not appearing in the inventory. The developers have been very helpful when these are reported in the Chilltown Discord, but I am anxious for a completely smooth functioning game in the near future. Is Chilltown worth buying? For the price of a fast food meal, you can own a game that provides many hours of stress relieving entertainment. If you enjoyed Animal Crossing, but you want something similar for your PC, then I think you will like Chilltown. Granted, Chilltown does follow a quite predictable formula as others in the life and farm sim genre, and there is still growth to be expected for an early access game. But the unique twists of pals to catch, breed, and hybridize, as well as the ability to let the game fish and play idle like a screensaver, it's a refreshing treat. Chilltown is a game that is an aesthetic, euphoric, serotonin boosting experience designed to provide the player with simple tools to relax, de-stress, and chill. And it does just that. Furthermore, with the vast improvements I've witnessed from the alpha version until this early access release, coupled with how the developers have elicited player feedback in Discord and used this to guide updates, I am confident that Chilltown has a solid team dedicated to quality updates. If you want to play it now though, be prepared to patiently wade through some early access hiccups. However, as a whole, I absolutely think that players will feel their $15 investment in Chilltown provides more than adequate value. So that is my honest, unsponsored early access review of Chilltown. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Chilltown. And if you like cute sim and survival games, please consider subscribing. See you in Chilltown, cozy gamers.